Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, May the 9th. It's the sixth week after Easter and week five in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verses 97 through 120. And Matthew 22, verse 41 to 46. And now join me please in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to refine. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, oh how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Alleluia. Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, oh how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Though through your precepts I gain understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform. I will keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply afflicted, O God. Give me life according to your word. Accept offerings from my mouth, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies are my inheritance forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes always, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield, and I hope in your word. Depart from me, evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word, that I may live and not be ashamed. Hold me up, and I shall be safe. I will always respect your statutes. You have trodden down them that stray from your statutes, for their deceitfulness is in vain. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dross, and therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles in fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, beginning at verse 41. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? And they said to him, The son of David. And he said to them, How is it then that David, by the Spirit, calls him Lord, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David calls him Lord, how can he be his son? And no one was able to give him an answer, nor from that day did anyone dare ask him any more questions. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. 
Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Most High God, save us, for we seek your precepts and love to do your will. Accept our praise as we sing your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.